Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out the Starfield video. In this one, I got some good news and unfortunately some bad news as well with the newest Starfield update that came out September 25th, 2023. As you can see within this Bethesda article, it states Starfield 1.7.33 update fixes and improvements. And within the general, some of the fixes are characters. Fix an issue that could cause some characters to not be in their proper locations, star stations, Fix an issue where star stations would be labeled as a player-owned ship. And this is the bad news, guys. Vendors. Address an issue that allowed for a vendor's full inventory to be accessible. Yeah, so it seems like the vendor chest glitches have been fixed. I'll be testing them out in this video just for proof on whether or not they have for a fact. But it seems like the infinite money glitch and all the other goodies that we used to be able to get from these vendor chests are now patched according to this but once again i'm going to be finding out for sure in this video just to be sure so yeah stay tuned for that let's go ahead and go over some of these other fixes as well there's not many more but let's get into what else bethesda did going down here we got the graphics amd pc resolving issue that caused star lens flares not to appear correctly amd gpus graphics addressed an upscaling issue that could cause textures to become blurry and another graphics fix resolved an issue that could cause photosensitivity issues when scrolling through the inventory menu. And then for performance and stability, hand scanner addressed an issue where the hand scanner caused hitching, various stability and performance improvements as well to address crashing and freezes. And lastly for ships, displays fixed an issue that would cause displayed items to disappear when applied to an end ship mannequins. And also another displays fixed. They fixed an issue that would cause items stored in the Razor Leaf storage containers and weapon racks to disappear after commandeering another ship. So yeah, now let's go ahead and see for sure if the vendor chests have been patched. Alright, so the first one I'm going to be testing to see if it was patched or not will be located over here at the Cheyenne system. Let's go check if the Aquila City vendor chest got patched. So we're over here at Aquila. Let's teleport to Aquila City right here. All right, so here we are at Aquila City. Let's head into town and see if this vendor chest got patched. So we just enter town right here. And over here we can look down at this puddle. It's right outside of the shepherd's shop. Let's see if this vendor chest is still here. I feel as though I've lived here all my life. Nope. Can't access this one. What about over here? Nada. Daggone it. Okay, well that's one down. Let's go to New Atlantis and just see if that one got patched. I'm pretty sure it did, but, you know, better safe than sorry. Let's just check it right here for proof during this video. The glitch doesn't take that long to do. I'm just going to teleport to the commercial district at New Atlantis. Alright. Here we are. Spawned in. Let's go do this real quick. Doesn't take long. Just head over here to this tree. And we'll climb up the building. Get out of the map check if this chest has been patched okay so we're on top of the building now let's head out of the map over here Head to the right side over here, past these like weird rooms at the bottom of the map. I think these are like elevator shafts or something. I don't know. Let's head this way. We're going to be walking off the cliff over here. Alright. Alright, right over here we can drop down.
Yep, right here. You can tell by this little weird platform on the outside of the map. Alright, so here we are. Where the vendor chests are supposed to be. There's typically one right over here. Underneath this shop. But as you can see, it's gone. It's just that thing. Under here. <laughs> Whatever that is. Let's check the most important chest, though, underneath the ship vendor. This way. Yep. It's gone, guys. It's gone. Dag gone. It's gone. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I did mention it would probably get patched. There was a lot of comments saying it wouldn't get patched since this is a single player game and why does it matter? But as you can see, you never know with these kind of things. You never know they could get patched. And yeah, it's gone. <laughs> we can't do this no more, unfortunately. Sucks. But, uh, yeah, just a quick update over this patch. This some pretty big news for players because this was a quick way to get everything you really needed without any hassle. I know there were a lot of players that did get to take advantage of this glitch while it was in the game, but they did get it out pretty fast. The game hasn't been out that long, so it's already out. I guess it was first come, first served. The guys who got the game early and was playing it early and whatnot got to experience using this glitch to get ahead. Ones that didn't don't get to experience this anymore, unfortunately. Just wanted to update you guys with this. I know. It's some bad news, but it is what it is. There's other ways to make money. Um, specifically selling like adaptive frames and whatnot's a great way to make credits. But yeah, I guess that's wrapping up this video. Just wanted to update you guys once again about this. I'm out of here. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.